I'm a baddie, I'm a girly, I'm a boss bitch. Know it's money in my pockets, how I talk shit. With a Bobby doll figure, yeah, I'm slim thick. It's only real bitches with me, ain't no counterfeits. What's up? I'm a stud. I like girls, but I think. I think I'm finna start dating men. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. So I've been out here dating and I just find that I date a lot of these fems and it seems like they looking for a parent instead of a partner, bro. Like, and I love spoiling my women. I love paying for stuff. I love taking them on dates and getting them flowers and make sure they're good in every way, make sure they're safe, opening the door for them, all that. I love that stuff. But it seems like I can't get any spoiling in return. Nobody wants to play that role. I'm getting girls flowers, taking them on these crazy dates, and, you know, getting them real good, you know, at the end of the night, making sure they get home safe, getting them all of this, and getting nothing in return. Like, I don't know if girls are fake da gay, but they don't even want to, like, they don't even want to F back. Like, they don't even want to back. Like, am, am I, like, I, what? I be trying to ask girls, like, are you gay for real? Like, are you... Are you gay? Because you act like, you know what I'm saying? It even come down to the conversation. I be carrying the conversation, asking them questions, figuring out what they like and what they don't like. And they don't ask nothing back. Like, and I asked this one girl, like, why don't you ask nothing about me? And she said, I'm just trying to see for myself. What? Like, if I'm paying for everything, I'm doing all the transportation, I'm initiating everything, the least you could do is a little... Or or something or bring something bring me some flowers walk to the gas station give me a bag of chips I'm not asking for a lot but it seems like I am because I can't get anything out these girls you know and not everything is about this but if you're not finna do this and make sure that I'm satisfied then you have to pay for something you're gonna have to pull up you're gonna have to give me something some blunts some alcohol or something and honestly I ain't gonna lie you rolling up every once in a while ain't even enough no more it's not enough like I need the full experience the same way that I'm giving you and I just feel like with a man like he's automatically expected to do things put stuff in motion pay for stuff all of that stuff and I know if I had a boyfriend I would reciprocate his energy and treat him really well because I already have that in me as a masculine presented person and honestly I'm not even masculine like I'm kind of stem like I'm kind of stem I like to switch it up like I like to be mad most of the time but I will put on some lashes and a cute outfit and everything like that so that part of me ain't feeling the the not getting nothing in return it just got me like overwhelmed and as a giver I need me a giver and maybe I just haven't found her yet but it's making me think like maybe I'm on the wrong side because at least I know with a man I'm supposed to get some type of spoiling because right now I'm not getting nothing and it's making me want to switch so anybody that's out there let me know if I'm tripping studs am I out there y'all feeling like like let me know if I'm tripping bro I'm gonna tell y'all a little story time with receipts I got the screenshots let's get it met this shorty i met her off a dating app so that was probably my first mistake met her talked to her on the phone she was she was dry she wasn't asking anything about me it was real dry it was really more like just banter back and forth and i liked that but not for the, like the full conversation we met in person i probably shouldn't have met her in person after the vibe was dry on the phone but we met in person the vibe was a little bit better but not by much like I had her over my house with my people and my family. She would barely talk to anybody. She would we would be playing games like charades and different games so she wouldn't participate. Like she would just sit there looking around, looking crazy, like you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I tried to fall back from her, but she wouldn't really let me. She would text me what you doing every five seconds. When we would I would be doing everything and like the one time I asked her, like, let me get some she told me some you first mind you i already done did what i did to her a couple times now anyway i do what i do i devour as i do i put it down she do me and it's like she doing it like it's a chore like doing it like she don't want to do it for real like shorty also had like was always acting broke didn't really pull up on me she probably pulled up on me like two times in the matter of us talking two three months which is crazy and when we first met i didn't have a car so i always slide around like and try to get her in different ways catch your ubers you know what i mean i'm doing what i'm supposed to do one time i was trying to see her also i initiate every interaction but anyway one time i was trying to see her and um i live outside of the city and she lives closer to the city so i was like oh i'm gonna be in the city today and she's she gonna be at a location that was about 10 minutes away from me in the city as well i'm like oh you 10 minutes away from me can you meet me at this bar on edgewood make it easy for me so we could just go home together you know and she said some, um, this my sister's boyfriend, Uber, and we using it to get, she using it to get back to the house. That's something, she said something like that. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm thinking like, what? 
you can't get an Uber 10 minutes to me just to make it easy because I always come and get you. And I'm dumb, so I pulled up on her. I was like, man, fine, whatever. I'll come get you. Pull up, go in there. I was probably in there like five minutes. My sister with me. My sister go to the bar. I go to her. She with like two other people. And we sitting, we talking, we chilling. Then, I don't know where she say, my cousin got to go to the bathroom. We finna walk to the Waffle House down the block. I'm like, there's a bathroom in here. We're literally like two feet away from the bathroom that's in the bar we in right now. She talking about some, oh, she don't want to use that one. I'm like, well, okay, well, she could go to Waffle House. You staying with me because I just came out my way to come get you. Don't you want to see me? Like, I'm here. Your ride is here. You're supposed to be leaving with me anyway. Like, let her go. She look at me like she got an attitude. She roll her eyes, whatever. So I end up going over to my sister. She bought a bar getting a drink. I'm with my sister. I don't see Shorty no more. I look back. Shorty gone. Mind you, I had on heels and a dress that night. I had a heels and dress on. And she seen I had a heels and dress on was still doing me like this. I'm like, bro, I know she ain't. I'm <laughs> like, are you serious? So I hit her up like, where are you at? I call her and she's like, oh, we at the Waffle House. Come get me. I'm like, so I'm low-key fuming at this point. I'm still dumb, though. So I pull up to the Waffle House. I, between, I, I pull up to the Waffle House, Matt's Hill. And I low-key, like, because of her out on the phone while I'm, like, walking to the car and stuff. I should have left when she went to Waffle House. I should have left then. I pull up on the Waffle House. Shorty takes so long to come out of the Waffle House. I'm fuming. I'm, like, I'm snapping on her. I'm like, bro, why would you do that? Da, 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 da. she just being quiet like just looking out the window while i'm driving so after that night i just wasn't really feeling her no more so i kind of felt bad for her you know wasn't replying as much i was low-key ghosting slowly ghosting slow ghost slow holy ghost so eventually she hit me up like i feel like you don't mess with me for real you only hit me up when you want to i've been low-key waiting for her to say something so i broke it down to her like this honestly it's not that it's just some stuff you do be turning me off first you're super dry and it makes me want to be dry you don't ask me no questions and all we do is bicker back and forth. You know what I'm saying? I brought up the charades. Like, you were just sitting there not saying nothing. I'm like, I don't know how you get money, but you be acting broke. She told me she was a dancer. Ain't dancers supposed to have money? Then I said, I asked you to meet me somewhere that was 10 minutes away. You talking about this is my sister's boyfriend, Uber, and she using it to get home. Like, what that got to do with you? Ain't you grown? You don't have your own Uber account? Like, that was done to me. But whatever, I can scoot you. Then you dip off down the street for what? They gave me the egg for real. I also said, like I said, you be acting broke, so I know when I want to see you, I'm going to pick you up, drop you off, and pay for everything. And honestly, I wouldn't mind that if you had a lively, fun personality, and then make that worth it. But or it was a real freak or something. But we love, I got to be the one initiated it. I devoured you, and da da da. I, I told you everything already, pretty much what I said here. I told her, all she do is hit me up and say, what you doing? Hey, I broke it down. Like, y'all was talking about communication. I communicated. And I said, I know that I'm masculine a lot, but my type is someone who could take care of me too and is ambitious like me. Or if you can't do that, then bring something else to the table, like good vibes or something. I ain't saying this to hit on you, but I'm just telling you why I fell back on you. I was going to hit you up and I'm ready to kick it granted she did kind of take accountability she said i apologize she kept saying i'm not a bad person for some reason i don't know why she kept saying that over and over like she was trying to convince herself but she said that she got laid off so she ain't got no money and she told me she don't really want it all the time okay then we don't have to do it at all but you always down to get something you know what i mean and she was saying she ain't got no car so she can't get around but i'm just like i didn't have a car when we first met i still found a way to get it doing you get everywhere when i be on the phone her she be everywhere out and about so you get where you want to go and we don't have to all the time. I'm cool with that. But if you're not bringing no personality, money, or vibes or nothing to the table, you can at least bring that. If you're not bringing nothing, then what are we going to do? So me still trying to give her another chance. I hit her up like a day or two later trying to invite her some stuff like what you doing. She talking about she busy. I'm like, okay. She like, okay. So after that, I, I, there's nothing else I can do. You're going to have the ball is in your court because I'm done initiating stuff. This she going to hit me up saying we ain't cool or something no more. I'm like, I don't know. You tell me. You the one who not talking to me. I said, we good, shorty. You just been too busy to hang with me. And I told you why I fell back on you and ain't nothing changed. We cooling. She said, for sure, okay. Nah, the way she responded is like a man to me. Like, what? And then this is supposed to be a fan, bro. So I said, you see how dry you being? This is what I'm talking about. She said, all I said was for sure. And I said, exactly. That's all you said. That's the point. It's good, though. Be easy. And we ain't talked since then. Like, that was the end of it. But I just told y'all that story so y'all know I don't be lying. Like, I really, really be trying. And I just haven't found my person yet. Y'all men in your comments, y'all doing too much. Like, I still love my women. I still don't like y'all. Like, it's whatever. I was just ranting. Okay? So chill out. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with women. Okay? It's something wrong with the whole system. You know what I'm saying? But any pretty ladies in ATL, hit me up. I got more stories. Let me know if y'all want another one.